To get started, you're going to need a fresh Laravel installation or a project that you've already been working on. In our roots file, I just have a view being returned uh, via this uh, closure here. And all that's doing is showing this welcome page. You can download the markup for this welcome page from the course downloads. And I'll go through each of these and what we've included here. So as I mentioned, we're going to be looking at doing this using Bootstrap. So just using their alert component. And we're also going to be using Sweet Alert, which is a replacement for uh, JavaScript's just normal alert. So in this case, you can see that we just get a normal alert. And here just gives us the flexibility to add a really nice message. And there's tons of information here on Sweet Alert if you want to go ahead and dive into anything in more detail. OK, so what we need to do then is under public CSS and JS, I've just downloaded the Sweet Alert files. You can obviously install these however you want using something like Bowery if you wanted to, uh, however you're pulling them in. As long as you have them available within your project that you can include in, then that's great. You can see here that I'm loading in the Sweet Alert style sheet up here and I'm loading in the Sweet Alert JavaScript down here, both of which are required for Sweet Alert. And I'm also pulling in the Bootstrap CSS as well and that's just coming from a CDN. And you can see that over on Bootstrap under Getting Started. So you can go ahead and copy this if you want to. So now that we've got everything set up, we just need to test the displaying of these before we actually do anything with the CoCourse Notify package. So to show a Sweet Alert message, we just use the Sweet Alert or the SWAL function. We pass in a title, a message, and then the type. And there are a ton of other options as well. But that will give you something like the following. That's what we're going to be doing when we redirect from another route. So the next step is to test out Twitter alerts. And for this, we create a div with the class of alert, and then we give it a type. So we have something like alert success uh, or anything like that, alert error, whatever you want to do. And you can see that renders that there. And you can just write a message in there. And you'll see it like that. So pretty standard stuff. So once we're in this position, we, we can actually go ahead and install the CoCourse Notify package, which will allow us to easily, from any controller or with any root closure, flash these messages and display them within a view. So let's head on to the next part where we actually download Notify.